This is Tara Horn from Simple Day, and I'm on a mission to make productivity simple using Monday.com. Today, I want to show you how you can automate moving an item from one group to another group. While we all know that you can simply drag the item to the group, one of the amazing features of Monday is that there's so many automations. So I want to show you how you can automate this process. Now, for this automation, I'm going to do it based on the status change. So the automation that I want to set up is when status changes to done, move my item to the completed task group. So if you go up to the top right corner, you'll see there's an automate button. It happens that in newer Monday.com accounts, it now says workflows. So you either want um, to click on automate or workflows. I'm going to click on automate and there's two ways that I can do this. The first is I can go to the automation center and these are pre-built recipes that will give you this option. So I'm going to go to the one that's called move item and I'm going to look for this one. It says when status changes to something, move item to group. So I just need to fill in these columns. So I want the status column and the something it's going to change to the status that I want to change to is done and I want to move it to the complete the task group. So I hit create automation. Now let's just go to our board and test this out. So I have my task create blog. If I mark it as done, you're going to see that it's going to move to my completed task group. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to go back to my automations. I'm going to turn this one off because I want to show you the second option. Now the second option is to create a custom automation. Now I personally love using custom automations because there's a lot that you can do with them and you can constantly add more and more items to the automation. So the way that they work is you need a trigger. So my trigger is gonna be when my status changes, right, to something. So when the status column changes to done, then what I'm gonna to wanna to do, I'm gonna move item to group. So I'm gonna click move to complete the test. Now this alone would do the automation that we want to move it from one group to another. I just wanna show you why I prefer to use these custom automations. Because it could be that in the future, let's say I decide once it moves to the completed group, I want to clear my name from it. So I can just click plus, and then I can do, um, let's say, assign person. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I can do plus, and I can look for clear, a clear assignee. So here I can clear the person, or if I don't want to do that, I also can add something to quantify it. So let's say I say when status changes to done and only if the person is someone. So let's say only if the person in the person column is me, then move it to complete because maybe someone else doesn't want to work with this approach. So using a custom automation, you really have a lot more capabilities if you're looking to build upon the automation. So I'm just going to show you that this one works. I hit create automation. And now I'm going to go back to our board. And for this task, I'm going to mark it as done. And you can see that it is also moved to the completed task group. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you how to use two different ways to use automations. Feel free to subscribe below to get more tips and tricks on how to use Monday.com.